This electron configuration is even going to be much longer. It's for the lead atom. Lead is Pb, and Pb is element number 82. So there will be 82 electrons, and I'm just going to use my regular old periodic table this time and see how we do, since that's what we're going to have typically on exams. So here we are in the 1s area, and you'll note this periodic table has 1 right next to it. It's going to start out 1s2, ding, 2s area, 2s2, 2p, and that told 6, and there's 6 elements here, that's a nice memory job. 3s and 3p, 4s, and I've made a note here, this is 3d, so 4s2, 3d10, and then we're back to the 4p's over here, ding, 5s, 4d, 5s2, 4d10, and then 5p, and that should be 5p, should be element number 54. Let's see, so we just did 54, and that was 5s, 5s. So now we're at 6s, and I'll jump down here to another line on my electron configuration. 6s, and then you hit the asterisk. The asterisk means do not pass go, do not collect $200, go directly to the, so there's 56, there's 57. This is the F area, and the F areas are two numbers behind the S's, so 6s to 4f. And that's going to be 4f14, 1, 2, blah, 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 14. Then you come back up after 70 to element number 71. We've done 4d. This is 5d. 5d, we do make it all the way over to 5d10. And then this is going to be the 6p area, 6p2. And that is the electron configuration of lead. It is long, um, yeah, but you have to know how to do it. Now, um, oh, but wouldn't it be great if there was a shortcut? And the shortcut is called the noble gas core. You can use a noble gas core for any of the noble gases, although I don't usually do it for helium. I usually start on neon. But what you do is you could, so you go where lead is, and you go backwards, and I guess reverse ding, and you come up to here, and the previous noble gas before lead is xenon, Xe, and so Xe stands for the first 54 electrons. So instead of writing the first 54 electrons, which will end with 5p, so the first 54 electrons, which <laughs> I didn't plan that necessarily, but it does work out that it's these 54 electrons, now is represented by, and these are square brackets uh, with the chemical symbol for the noble gas core right here. Um, oops, and that's xenon. So now, so uh, we can write xenon, and then the rest of this, which we can do because here's lead, here's xenon, so we go back to xenon, ding, now we know we're in the 6s area, there's only two of them, asterisk means go down to the, what are called the lanthanides, but really the f area as we know it, this is 4f, and you hit the other end of the 4F area. 70 then goes to 71. 71 to 80 is going to be 5D, 10, and 6P, 2. So this is 
Oh, my goodness, I'm sorry. This is the electron configuration for lead atom with a noble gas core. Now, uh, if I hadn't sorted everything, so if we go back and we did, uh, let's say, chlorine before, chlorine atom with a noble gas core. We would look at our periodic table. We would find chlorine. We would go backwards until we got to neon. And we put neon's chemical symbol in square brackets. Then we would go 3s2, 3p5. just like that. So that's a second example of a noble gas core.